Let's add a little bit of spice to your Canva designs by creating custom frames. So there are quite a few frames you can choose on Canva. If I delete this, you can find all these ones, but sometimes you just want your own. And for example, I like to add text and then have the same image with the background, kind of create a cool effect. And for that, I could only use these numbers and I want my own custom font. So this part is completely free and we're going to go to Figma and then over here I'm going to click text and then I'm going to type in coffee. Now that I've done that, I'm going to just select it and make sure that nothing is behind it. So delete all the pages behind it if you do have that. And then after that, we're going to click fill. So just click on this uh, color and then choose here image. So now I just chose a random image. I don't really care about an image at this point. So I'm just going to leave it at that and then I'm going to download that. So I'm going to export, choose a PDF and then I'm going to export coffee. Now I have my coffee ready. I go back to my Canva design and then over here I just drag it and drop it. After that, we're going to go create a new page and I'm going to just click on it. This is the main element that I've created. And then what you're going to do, you're going to click on it and click delete. So now I can go to elements. I can type in coffee, for example, and I'm going to go to photos and I can just choose a photo and add it. And this is the final effect. Of course, you have to make sure that it matches the background matches what you want to do. Let's say want this one. Now let's take it a step further. And for this, you still don't need any pro features. So we're going to just download this image. You go to Paxels and just choose an image you like. You're just going to download that. And then I go back and I just have this image ready for me. Uh, I'm going to download this and I just download one file. It doesn't matter the settings, either a PNG or JPEG is fine. And then I go back to Figma. So I'm going to delete this coffee thingy. I'm just going to put it out here. And as you can see, it's an image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle from this image. So I'm just going to create a rectangle and then I'm just going to double click on the corner and I'm going to move it to be exactly where I need it to be. If it's hard for you to see, you could always make the transparency lower so you could see better what you're doing. So I'm going to add it here. And then it's important that it matches uh, the book perfectly. I'm going to add it here and I'm going to add it over here. So now we have the exact shape of the book and I'm going to just increase the transparency again to 100, as you can see. And now we can add an image. So again, we click fill and then we click image and then that's it. We have this image ready. Looks good. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to delete the image file here. I'm going to just keep this one and then I'm going to export this. So again, same thing, PDF, export rectangle, go back to Canva, import the design, uh, click on it, maybe on a new page so it doesn't mess up the other things. And then I'm going to copy this and paste it. Now all I need to do is match the size of the book. And now that the book is matched, I can change the cover. So let's say you have a book you want to publish or something else. We can add the title here. So I'm just going to go to Canva and type in magazine cover just so we would have something to put there. So I'm going to customize this template and I'm just going to download this as a JPEG. And then I'm going to upload the new file that I've just downloaded. So now before we place this image, there is one important thing you need to do. So you click on it like that, and then you have to turn it before you place it. So let's turn it to make sure it fits. And once it's turned, we're going to add it. Voila. So now we have the image here for our uh, magazine. Again, it has to fit the size. So I'm going to uh, reduce the size over here. If you want me to create a video where I explain even more things you can do with frames, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.
Bye.